Hello and welcome back to another Warlords of Draenor guide. Today I'm going to be running through how to get exalted with the Steam Weedle Preservation Society. This is perhaps the most interesting rep in Warlords of Draenor. Rather than grinding by just killing mobs, you do a series of repeatable quests that involve collecting items off mobs in Northern Nagrant. It's still a little bit grindy, but don't worry, it should be pretty okay. While most of your rep is going to come through these repeatable quests, there are some regular quests that you will get in Nagrant. Essentially, they start from the Ring of Trials, which you will be taken to soon after you build your Nagrant garrison. So really, it's the sort of thing that you'll just do naturally while you level. After these quests are complete though, you will need to move up to the map location on the screen, which is the location of the Steam Weedle Preservation Society Hub. This is where you'll find all of the relevant NPCs for this faction, including the NPCs that you turn items into, and of course, the Quartermaster. Now then, the way that this all works is that there are multiple different items that you turn into these guys. First of all, we have got Gorian Artifact Fragments. You can turn in 20 of these for 250 reputation. I'll mark a few high density locations on the map for you in terms of just mob grinding places. Now I found that the fastest farming place was actually just by killing the Talbooks that spawn around the sort of green hills area that's south of the Broken Precipice and Ring of Blood. I'll put a marker on the map. Yeah, it's strange that the Talbooks and things like that were dropping more than the actual ogres, but hey, that's what happened. Now, I don't recommend bothering with the elite mobs, just kill the regular ones, and they all drop a pretty decent amount of, um, of artifact fragments. Now, if you've got the siege tank, then it will be extremely good here, because um, you generally find them in packs of four, so that can work out quite good. Now, other than that, I found that the Broken Precipice was quite good, and then the Earthshaker's Gorge was just a little bit behind that. The Ring of Blood and area outside High Mall were next to useless in my experience. Next, we have got High Mall Relics. Now, these drop off the rare mobs in my experience, the rare ogre mobs in the northern Grand area. You can turn these in for 350 reputation, which isn't a lot, so I'd really just consider these as being a bit of an added bonus and not really something that you should be going out of your way to find. You can also get these by a rare garrison follower mission, which will award one of them, though there's no way to control where, when you get that. It will just pop up at random in your garrison. There are also these little chests, which are called High Mall Reliquaries. I'll put a map of their potential locations on the screen. Now, these basically just contain a bunch of artifact fragments and a relic. I found that really the spawn rate of these meant that I, well, I, I didn't find many of them. I ran around the map that I have, which is the map of where they should spawn, and I only really found a few of them, so it just didn't seem like a very surefire way to get stuff, at least from my perspective. Now, what is definitely, I'd say, faster is handing in the items that you get via killing a bunch of rare named beasts in Northern Nagrant. Again, I will put up a map. Now, these generally have got 2.5 to 3.5 million health, which means that they do take a decent amount of time to kill, though the item that they drop can be handed into one of the repeatable quest people, and that will give you 500 uh, reputation, which is pretty good. Now, their mechanics are all rather simple, and they're just the sort of thing that you will pretty much understand. For an example, don't stand in front of the uh, the cleft tooth when it starts doing a swipe, things like that. Still though, their raw damage output and high health pool means that some classes who are generally weak at soloing will run into problems. Though that should be okay because I recommend taking a friend or two with you anyway. Basically, anyone who helps kill one of these rares will also get the rep item, the reps all share, just like the Timeless Isle stuff, meaning that the quickest way to get this rep is just to farm these rare creatures with a group, in my opinion anyway. Just have a bunch of your friends run around the places on the map to find rare spawns, and then whenever a rare spawn is found, get that person to tag the mob, and then everyone should just go over and uh, start killing them off quickly. This method means that you'll be able to kill nearly everything that spawns, and then the group will be spread out enough to make sure that you catch lots of mobs. And of course, because you'll be killing them very fast, it should be rather efficient. That just seems like the best way to do it from my perspective anyway. However, it does involve getting a group of people together, though you will probably be able to find some interested people if you use the other section of the in-game group finder. So really, that's all that you do to get exalted. You just need to turn in these repeatable items and really just do whichever one you feel is the most convenient for you. Anyway, that is it for this guide, and that's basically how you get the rep. Be sure to check out the other Warlords of Draenor guides on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.